Greetings, YouTube, and welcome to the Blue Corner. And, well, let's talk about ZRs. You know, these supposedly super strong, powerful, amazing cards that can. that if you don't win the game, you lose your G Zone or burn it up in the anime, and can summon dragons in real life and are one of each per case and are between $150 to $300 potentially and all this shit. And, uh, oh, yeah, by the way, you don't actually need them in your decks they're just nice to have yeah we're going to talk about these things so i didn't want to talk about zrs initially because i wanted to wait let my thoughts on these things settle and see what kind of impact they would have on the format and um well suffice to say uh what i started uh, what i stated earlier is pretty much how i feel like i think zrs they're nice cards they have some neat niches but at the same time, they're also not necessary. Like, yes, uh, a good bulk of people who play this game came over from Yu-Gi-Oh! and are used to having to shell out like $100 on a card that they think will give them the best chance to win. In some cases, even more than that, see Dark Arm Dragon back when Phantom Darkness was a thing and Return Dad was best deck in format and only deck in format. You were, If you wanted your Dark Arm Dragons, you were spending, what, $300 on it? Or the people who had to get crush card viruses before got the gold rare reprint. And even then, that, that reprint was very pricey. Or if you wanted to build Necro, Zodiac, like if people will drop whatever they feel they have to in order to have the best chance of winning. That will never change regardless of the card game. So let's just get that one out of the way. But the thing about ZRs is while they are good, at the same time though, like the clans, at least these current ones are, they honestly have better things for them. Like let well to break them down. So Megiddo, he is, so first things first, these things are all more or less Generation Break 4, and they're Carnal Blast 2. Like, that's the one thing that the, our current ZRs have in common. And Megiddo is on, when he's put on Vanguard, you call up the five cards from your hand or drop zone to the field, they all get power plus 5,000, and the ability to switch positions with another unit after it attacks. Now, Aqua Force will definitely like being able to call things out of the drop zone in case they get their board wiped, and it allows them to do their multi attack shenanigans. That's great. BT, on the other hand, not really. They, they benefit from being able to bounce their cards back up to hand pre-shenanigans. So, if anything, uh, and actually not if anything, furthermore, they just have better options in their decks available to them and they'll instead opt to use those. And Grand Blue, you're asking Night Rose if she wants another card that calls a full board out and enables her to do multi-attack. Please, that deck already has like three cards that can call a board in mass and do stupid things. Add one more if we factor GB8 into the equation here. And Night Rose at this point is pretty much GB8 turbo still. So... You look at Megiddo, it's like, yeah, you're really great in one clan, and okay, but not necessary too bad in others. And then we got Drachma. So, on on ride, counter blast to retire and bind your opponent's entire field, Vanguard included. Then they choose two, three cards from the hand. They discard two and ride the other one to Vanguard. Now, the thing to note is, if your opponent has no card, or if they have two or less cards in hand, and they have no soul, aside from their Vanguard, they end up losing their hand and are unable to ride their vanguard. Therefore, they have no vanguard and they automatically lose the game. That is a thing that does exist. So it is something that you have to keep in the back of your mind when you're going up against a Dragon Empire deck as the option to potentially auto lose if you are an idiot and just soul blast off all your soul and, I don't know, have no cards in hand. Then, yeah, Drachma's coming for you. But at the same time, um, I feel like the cards also just kind of a win more like when you think about the the clans that this guy can be used in you go huh i've got better things like kagero they have blade master titan for mass wiping ziegenberg and the ace for restanders and the purge is a just a really good card it does damage and can also get multi checks he's also splashable although the burn damage effect is really only usable in Overlords, but Blade Master can tech a copy of the Purge for just five checks, and it's going to probably do that. Nubitama, they've got Mokuro, Sukumorakon, 
and Mujin Lord as finisher plays. Sukumura Khan, if they have a big hand. Mujin Lord and Makuro. Okay, no, Makuro's not a finisher. He's just a good mid game card. But Mujin Lord, if your opponent has a full board, do you want to retire Bind it or do you want to dominate it and make it attack the Vanguard? You're going to go with that option. Tachikaze. This one you can make an argument for just because it does allow them to like push back if they've been. If they want to get rid of the board, but at the same time, don't they already have, I mean, what is it, Tyranno Tempest or something like that? I know they have the ability to board wipe, and honestly, Tachikaze's still got better finishers in the form of Dogma. Murakumo, this one's a bit on the iffy side. Uh, I don't, like, I'm not very familiar with Murakumo, so I can't really comment on how useful Drachma is. I think he could be okay in there just because that deck has no removal, but at the same time, I feel like just your other options are just better. Like the new Yasui's Generation Break 3 Shadow Stitch skill, that's actually kind of dope. I think I'd rather just fall back on that and the other Yasui strides. So, like you look at these two ZRs, you go, yeah, they're powerful, silly, hard to find, expensive, but um, at the same time, you don't actually have to worry about getting them. I'm not going to lose any sleep because, oh yeah, I forgot to mention, of course, my clan, Naru's. Why would I ever go on a Drachma when I have other options to do? Like, my opponent has a full ward and I need to wipe it out. I've got Voltex Zapper, Big Bang Knuckle Turbo, Vermillion the Warning, Linchu, VMAX, just for his punching skill. And if I want to kill my opponent, I've got Warning, Conquest Dragon, Zillion, VMAX, Voltage, V Busters, Generation Break 3, somewhat of a finisher, and of course our GB8. So, yeah, like. Drachma seems like a win more in just about any Empire clan, aside from like that little niche where, oops, I left myself with only three cards in hand, I guess I lose two of them and have to ride the other one, crap, I'm dead, but at three cards in hand against Kagura and Arakami, you're probably just going to die anyway. So, like, mm, I don't really know what else I could like to say about like these cards other than that, that they're not really like that neat. I mean, they are seeing play, but I think it's just people playing them because A, new cards, I want to play them, and B, they're just playing them because they can. Like, I'll admit, I've sometimes played a card in my extra deck or my G zone just because I could. Like, I remember playing Finish Blow on my Brawler and Vanquisher deck just because it was an SP. I didn't really use it, but I wanted, I liked having a full art SP at a time which I didn't have very many SPs. And some people will, if they have a ZR and they don't trade it, they'll probably have it in their G zone just so they can say, yeah, I have this. You want to know how much I have this? I'm going to flip this up for my generic G flip skill and say, yeah, I've got this thing, but I'm not going to use it on you. But, uh, yeah, TLDR, like, don't really worry about these things. I know... It's, I know it's very easy to go, oh my god, the game's going to die, blah, 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 blah. But if ZRs are going to, if all the other ZRs are going to be like the ones we have just now, I think we'll be fine. The fact that people are going after cases so hard to get these things, as Saul Vanguard put it, is actually, is actually quite good in a sense. Because it just means that we're going to have a ton of the other triple rares and double rares on the market. Which means that if you're not building Kagura or Aka Force your deck's probably going to be very easy to pick up because there are going to be so many things for Angel Feather, Tachikaze, Murakuma on the market that will be cheap. Like, Gavriels? I will be shocked if that thing breaks $10 on either of them just because there will be so many Gavriels on there. Hell, even Aquaforce, in spite of it getting so much for it, I think it's going to be still a reasonably cheap deck to build. Like, the Blue Wave Stride, I think, is $10. I don't know what Alexandros is, but he he can't be more than twenty dollars. At least at least he won't be. Like I think he'll end up being like the Makuro price range. The Des the I'm mean, not the, the Destiny the Purge the Purge will be a bit of a different story just because he's stupidly expensive because Overlord. But like aside from Kagura, like most of the clans in the set are relatively cheap to build out of the set, just because there will be a lot of these things. And you don't have to jump through hoops to get them because this X seller here and X seller here is going to have, I don't know, 20 more, uh, 20 Edens and Prims. So that's useful. And I'm also hoping that kind of happens with the Zoo Awakening. Therefore, I don't have to 
pull my hair out trying to f find Phantom Boo Vernoculus Oshis and the new Sela. Although I don't think Sela will be overly pricey. At least I'm hoping so. But uh, yeah. I don't really know what else I can really say at this point. I mean, I'm, at this point, I'm just going to start rambling. So I'm going to cut it here and just say TLDR. ZRs are good, but you're going to be fine without them. So don't quit. There are much worse things to quit a card game over, and ZRs are not one of them. Until next time, this is Blue Story 99 jacking out.